Hello everyone and welcome back to another Eurovision Hope reaction video. Today we are going to be reacting to Denmark's entry into this year's Eurovision Song Contest that's going to take place in Rotterdam in May. But as usual, before we get into this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss any of our new content. Now, let's go. Come on neighbours, make us proud. Whoa, we got a bit of disco. Very 80s. Or is it 90s? I honestly keep forgetting the difference between 80s and the 90s. Really 80s. Dun, 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 dun. I can hear an ABBA piano. Oh, the, the nice keys. I love the Danish language, but I've heard that this is going to be sung in English for the final. Yes, bro, well, you popped that hip. <laughs> What's that move? Are they trying to be ironic? Like. They're not taking themselves serious, are they? Right, I think this is going to be so bad in many ways that I'm actually going to like this. This has a massive dance band Schlager vibe, which is like what we Scandinavian people live for. I can be back to my early days of Eurovision. Ah, they're so cute. I kind of feel like I'm on a cruise with some elderly people just dancing our bodies off. You saw a lot, early 90s. Lots of lilac, lots of purple. It's a very fashionable colour at Eurovision in the early 90s. It's so 80s, y'all, this. <laughs> I must say, I'm very happy this is in Danish. Oh, yes. Nice bit of almost running man. But we're also looking at the first Danish entry in Danish in a long time, and it's very, very welcome. I understand Danish. I cannot hear a single word he's saying. <laughs> So I think what we're looking at here is a non-qualification for Denmark. I mean, this is like, this is kind of a thing that you just makes you happy. But it's really like the same melody through the whole song. It's get, it getting a bit boring. He's not your typical performer, is he? I don't know, the way he's standing, the way he's singing. He's, he's definitely doing it in his own way. I don't know what goes on behind the scenes, but I definitely think that the Ben and Tan song was a little bit better. Actually, when I say a little, I mean a lot. This is definitely the kind of song that we, you would hear in Melfest during the 2000s. So I'm happy, because I love me some Schlager. Even though it's like very beautiful, I think it's very well put together as a song with all the instruments and the sound. Why isn't the other guy dancing? Come on, join your buddy in dancing. Don't just stand there. I know you have a guitar, but join him, come on. Not totally convinced by the, by the vocals. But it's just like the same through the whole song and that makes it a bit boring. I'm gonna try to learn the lyrics to this so I can sing along. But you know, I, I can enjoy this. It's it's cute and it's happy, <laughs> joyful. I kinda dig this. Yes! Come on, Denmark! Yes, boy, get those moves in. Hey. This is like the kind of song that you really shouldn't like, but actually you end up really liking. It's kinda of feel like that child inside of me who grew up with this sort of music is very happy right now. The nostalgia for me taking me back to the Eurovision of the 80s and the 90s, it's it's already finding a little place in my, I'm not gonna say midlife heart, but yes. He has a lot of energy. His buddy, not so much. <laughs> it's just standing there. The staging can be improved for Eurovision, I think. This is very Scandinavian in 2000s. <laughs> I don't hate this. I don't hate this. This is definitely not my least favorite this year. Do you know what? This year I am all here for the joyous songs. And this one, this one is filling me with joy. I kind of hope this would qualify because I feel like we need this sort of happiness in Eurovision. This kind of joy. I am so interested to see people from other parts of Europe being like, huh? Excuse me? <laughs> I absolutely love him. But it's like he's just come off the street into his local karaoke. He's had a few drinks. Someone's given him the mic and he's like, right, this is my time. This, oh, and he even did that with Big Freddie Mercury. This is my time. This is my moment. And he is absolutely loving his life and living his best life. Nice ending. <laughs> that was an okay song. It, it's not bad at all. It's just very basic, <laughs> very 80s and a bit boring. I don't think I meant to, but I do. So, I mean, is it the best song this year? No. Did it make me happy? Hell yeah. <laughs> well, that's what we thought. What do you guys think? Please comment down below and until we see you in the next one. Bye.